Hello there, friends. Today is Saturday. It's June the 27th, and here is today's daily devotion. Um, the scripture reading is from 2 Timothy chapter 1, verses 1 through 8 and 13 and 14. And this is Paul writing to Timothy. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God for the sake of the promise of life that is in Christ Jesus to Timothy, my beloved child, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I am grateful to God, whom I worship with a clear conscience as my ancestors did, when I remember you constantly in my prayers night and day. Recalling your tears, I long to see you so that I may be filled with joy. I am reminded of your sincere faith, a faith that lived first in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice, and now I am sure lives in you. For this reason, I remind you to rekindle the gift of God that is within you through the laying on of hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather a spirit of power and of love and of self-discipline. Do not be ashamed then of the testimony about our Lord or of me, his prisoner, but join with me in suffering for the gospel, relying on the power of God. Hold to the standard of sound teaching that you have heard from me in the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. Guard the good treasure entrusted to you with the help of the Holy Spirit living in us. Now this uh, devotion from our daily bread is called Love Passed Down. It's written by Amy Peterson. And she writes, My daughter has become fascinated with Nancy Drew. In the last three weeks, she's read at least a dozen of the novels featuring the girl sleuth. She comes by her love of detective stories honestly. I loved Nancy Drew too, and the blue bound copies that my mom read in the 1960s still line a shelf in her house. Seeing this affection passed down makes me wonder what else I'm passing down. In his second letter to Timothy, Paul wrote that when he thought of Timothy, he was reminded of the sincere faith that lived in Timothy's grandmother and mother. I hope that along with her love of mysteries, my daughter is also inheriting faith that she will serve as her grandparents have, that she will pray, and that she will hold on to the promise of life that is in Christ Jesus. I also see hope here for those who don't have parents or grandparents who know Jesus. Though Timothy's fate isn't mentioned, father isn't mentioned. Paul calls Timothy his dear son. Those who don't have families to pass down faith can still find parents and grandparents in the church, people who will help us figure out how to live a holy life and to embrace the gifts God has given us of power, love, and self-discipline. Truly, we all have a beautiful inheritance. Yeah, this made me think about what am I, uh, what am I passing down to my kids? I know that um, for Nicholas, uh, I've given him a love of sport, and uh, he, he definitely likes watching football, playing football, uh, doing karate. I mean, he's, you know, these are things that, that while I've never really been terribly athletic, but, uh, you know, I've had a love for those things and he's picked up on that. Um, I think, uh, my daughters have picked up a love of reading from, from, uh, seeing dad as a reader. And, uh, so what is it, what is the legacy that you're leaving with your kids? Um, is it more, then because i hope i hope for my part that another part of the legacy i'm leaving with my kids is, is faith is um you know trust in jesus christ are you doing that are you leaving that same faith your faith with your children and with your grandchildren or even more so are you offering it through your church uh, through the experience of being around people uh, in the ministries of the church? Are you, uh, are you being a church parent or a church grandparent to someone? And they don't even have to be a child for that, do they? Just a new believer. Um, anyway, there's your thought for the day. Hope you're all doing well. Take care and God bless. Bye now.